All right, chat. Well, we know we're going to have a lot to do. Um, so instead of pushing this problem to tomorrow's stream, let's just get it done with now. All right. How bad is this going to be? How bad? How bad? Looking at goalies. We have to cut Hanu Toivonen. Does this work on PS5? Uh, I think so. I mean, I'm playing it on an Xbox Series X, so yeah. We need to sign Mr. Ottinger to his ELC. We need to sign Stuart Skinner to his ELC. Just to not lose anybody for free. Defense. We will qualify Chris Bigris. We will qualify the Leitonen. Um, Dominic Machine. Marcus Pedersen. I have no idea. Honestly, we're going to qualify everybody because I don't want to have to get rid of anybody for free. Let's see. We got to sign Kale McCarr to his ELC. Nick Haig to his ELC. We're not going to sign Darlene yet. Hopefully, I have enough roster space to pull this off. Right wing side. Got to qualify Rantanen. Comfort 2-2 two, two. will qualify Yak. Oh, boy. Let's see. Left wing side. We got to try to re-sign one Jeff Skinner. Got to keep AJ around. We got some moves to make. Okay. Let's send forward today. Obviously, I have quite a few of those UFAs that I am going to have to sign, but let's give it a minute. Jeffrey Skinner, welcome back. Ottinger, Haig, Skinner, Kale McCarr. Good start. Good start. We still have $38 million left. It's more about contracts, but I think we're okay. Uh, so down the middle, Morgan Geeky, ELC, and we're going to let go of the Elite 1C, Derek Grant. Uh, Tim Schaller is also out, as we will sign Nick Suzuki and one of the Klimas. Left wing side, Andy Agazino can go. We'll sign the other Klima. Patrick Maroon can go. Olhaver seems to have capped out in 81, by the way. And then right wing side, Brown can go. We gotta try to keep JT Comfer. Uh, Ronaldo can go. DSP can go. Jordan Tutu can go. All right. So in UFA wise, that leaves Miranoff, who will try to sign, and one Devon Taves for the memes. Beauty. Beauty. And then we are pretty much immediately going to have to trade people to make room for potential free agents. Looks like everyone's going to accept those offers as well. This shows us on 36 contracts, which isn't true. UFAs, nobody left. RFAs, the vast majority of the team. All right, that is step one. In the books. Step number two. Who's on the free agent list? As Yak is back. Duncan Simons. Seaman Simons. We shall see. All right. Who's out there? Free agent market. Okay, we got some moves to make. We got some moves to make. Eric Carlson is a free agent, as is Matt Duchesne. So let's figure out who the hell is staying on this team and who isn't. And indeed, some of the dudes end up being UFAs instead of RFAs. It was an issue at the time. So if we look at our goalies... Sandstrom, Gustafson, Wall, Skapsky, Ottinger, Skinner. I didn't look to see if there was anybody um, 
worth signing, but I do think that Skapsky and Skinner are the two that are on the outs. Um, Scott and Doripos as well. I mean, shit, you could even talk Marku and just hold on to Varlamov as the best potential guy. Do the Edmonton Oilers need five goalies? Two of which are under contract. Would you like Stuart Skinner? They would. Well, how much can we get then? If I add in your first five picks? <laughs> I didn't think they would take it. <laughs> All right. Skapsky, Skinner, Ian Scott, Doripos, and the other guy for the first five picks this year from the Edmonton Oilers. Good start. Jesus. So at the NHL level, we have uh, Sandstrom and Gustafsson. We're going to need a third. AHL looks to be Wall and Ottinger. That's some Ken Holland managing right there. Hmm. We don't need to sign Varlamov right now. Defensively. Oh, God. We have so many dudes that we have to trade away for draft picks right now. It's absolutely insane. Really quickly, goalies. Boobtitsky, Talbot, Varlamov. I mean, I don't really want to make the mistake of giving Sergei Bobrovsky a shitload of money, you know? I don't think we need to with the goalies that we have in the system, although... For the past three years, he's been playing like a good goalie. He was insane in the playoffs last year. We could go for Bobrovsky. In terms of potential, Brassois is an RFA. There's nobody that we'd want. We could go for Bobrovsky just because. Give Bob Ten, you'll definitely make a final. Fair. Defensively, Carlson's the big name. Charlie McAvoy is out there. Bigris is already ours. Like Daniel Brinkley in the mix. Brinkley, not Brinkley. Okay. Full use, not worth getting. Bigris, Pedersen, Machine are all ours. We obviously have to throw a deal out there for Charlie McAvoy. Uh, and we have a lot of money to spend, so we're going to try to spend it. We also absolutely have to throw a deal out there for Eric Carlson. We're going to go eight and a half for seven years for Eric Carlson. Goaltending wise, there's no reason not to. Let's go after Bobrovsky. The Rangers are interested after Lundqvist retired. Forwards. Pacioretty, Duchesne, Zuccarello, Ranton, and Zars. And he likes to Jake Gensel further down. In terms of prospects, low elite, Leas Anderson. No reason to not throw a deal out there for him. And then you get the group of low sixes, including Alex Kerfoot. A lot of low sixes who might be decent and might not be. Labba because I'm impatient, that's all. Lee Tolvanen. Oh my god, there's so many dudes. Okay, right, hold on. So Greer is ours. We can send a deal for Tolvanen. I mean, Kajula is what he is. These guys are 24. They're not going to get that much better. Do I want to put any stock in the low top sixes? Because it would be Lind, Norris, Anderson, Dolan, Costin. We know we're sending out a deal for Ellie Tolvanen. Klim Costin, Jarrett Anderson Dolan, Josh Norris, Cole Lind. We'll see what we can do. It's nine deals out. We should have enough space for everybody that we've sent a deal for already. Pacioretty, Duchesne, Zuccarello, and obviously Gensel, who could keep getting better, but there's a chance he's hit his peak. So, 
If we look at the goalies, again, we have the deal out for Bobrovsky right now. The hell am I going to do here? I mean, Devon Taves is here for the memes. <sighs> Dylan Blue just has to go. Baseball fan? No, I am not. Duncan Simons has to go. And then we got all the kind of crap at the bottom. Anderson might have to go to Leetonen has to go. Leetonen, Simons, and Blugius. Washington. What can we get from you? First and a second's too much. What about a first and a third? All right. Blue just Simons Leetonen gone to Washington for a first and a third. As we clear out some of the players, that won't be everybody. I am going to wait to see who signs. All the man forward wise, too. We could really get some money offers out there. Psychot, what's up? Aside from the fact that you can't see. Matt Duchesne. Can we land Matt Duchesne again? Although he's a first liner. So Duchesne and Patch are ready. We just outright don't have space for. Because we're not going to trade who we'd have to trade to open up space for them. Down the middle is already McKinnon and Jost as a one-two. Left wing side is Skinner Landeskog. Right wing side is Rantanen and then not so much Comfer. So if there was a right wing to bring in, it would make sense to do so. And that's where Matt Zuccarello comes in. He's the fit for the team that we need. Mr. Zuccarello, two years, eight mil. What do you say? We're looking to take a big step forward with this team. Screw the waiting around. I think we could win cups. Josh Norris is signed. Tolvanen, Costin, Lind, Anderson Dolan, Anderson. McAvoy, Boob Titsky, Zuccarello, Eric Carlson. <laughs> Holy shit. We got them all. Eric fucking Carlson. Need to break out the Brian Five or Six shirt. And we still have $10 million in salary cap space. <laughs> Look at this fucking team. Oh my god. Whew. Well. This is, uh, I knew there was a reason why I liked NHL 17 so much. We are going to have to trade away people, but what we're going to do is wait until the start of the season. Again, we don't have room for Duchesne or Patch already. But we are going to wait for the start of the season. All the big RFAs are ours anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Dominic Machines ours. Pedersen Odette's not, but he's not a big deal. Yeah, we're fine. What happened to Big Russ? He's an RFA. So we still have him for the moment. Yeah, I think we're pretty well good to go. I mean, that's like we could look at bringing in like John Hayden. Is that Luke Johnson? It is. We could still look at bringing in this trio of high nines to improve the forward core. All third liners. John Hayden. Luke Johnson. And Jacob the Snakeub Gensel, who has a lot of interested teams. We might as well just throw the offers out there. Like I said, we're, we're aiming to win now. 
We've gotten this team into silly season. Gensel goes to New Jersey. Oh, we have a full roster because of the RFAs. That makes sense. I kind of forgot about that. Fair enough. Well, let's wait it out then. See what's in store for us in the preseason. And we'll finalize whatever the hell this roster looks like. Uh, we'll match the offer for Marcus Patterson. No reason not to. Dominic Machine has accepted the qualifying. As has AJ. You'll love to see it. Yeah, this team is... Uh, this team is nuts. This team is going to be nuts. So we should still have the money to sign Miko Rantanen. But yeah, now is the time where it's like, alright, just change out already good players for picks, prospects, whatever it may be. We shall see. Am I having fun now? I was already having fun. This has been a fun one to, to look back at, but even more so now. Let's see. So RFAs, Bigris, and Rantanen. Rantanen wants five. Bigris wants three. Good to know. How's the shoulders? Shockingly fine. I don't know what the hell went on, but we're all right. Thankfully. All right. Goalie wise. Okay. Nine pages into a 10 page paper, and I still have three sections to write. That sounds awful. <laughs> Better you than me. All right. Bobrovsky. Ah, Megalodon, nothing. I think I just. Pinched a fucking nerve for the day. Sandstrom or Gustafson as the backup? I mean, you would think Gustafson would ha technically have the higher potential, but apparently not. So. Bishop as well. What's going on? How are you? I guess we'll keep Sandstrom. Darude Sandstrom. So he'll be the backup to Bobrovsky. Get a bit of a Philly theme going on. We will trade Gustafsson. And then the AHL will be Joseph Wall and Jake Ottinger with somebody else. So Gus has got to go. You see. I can't believe High Fringe has much more trade value than Medium Starter. Maybe I'm trading the wrong guy here. What do you think? Do I trust trade value more or the actual potential? I guess I should trust trade value more. Defensively. Holy God. Okay. So a big question is whether or not we trade Tyson Berry. But I think Eric Carlson top pair, Tyson Berry second pair. That could be insane. That could be insane. And we have McAvoy. No stream from NHL 24 yet. Not tonight at least. Franchise-wise, I'm still not going to touch it until I'm done roster editing, which will be a bit. Okay, so we know who our top fours are. So we got Carlson, Bigris, McAvoy, Barry, and Carlson. You edify yourself. I do. I do. No, like my, my mom doesn't even help me. It's crazy. Um... Carlson, right? Go Car or as in Gabriel Carlson. EK and McAvoy. Barry and Bigris. And move on from Gabriel Carlson. And if it turns out we're gonna trade Tyson Barry anyway, we got enough guys in the system that are coming up. So I think we go with Eric Carlson next to Charlie McAvoy. Tyson Barry next to Chris Bigris. Gabriel Carlson is going to be on the trade list here. So then for dudes who are on that third pair, we know that Hayek and Rasmus Anderson can be in the AHL. But that third pair in the NHL comes down to either Melloc 
Zadorov, Machine. Honestly, even though he's a depth defenseman, Josh Anderson needs to be in that mix because otherwise he's not going to grow. Mironov as well. Devon Taves. Marcus Pedersen. And then we get down to the guys in the AHL, which does include one Kale McCarr, Nick Haig. We could sign Rasmus Dahlin. Stubbs, what's up, man? You got Bodie Wild in the uh, in junior still. Sharoff is there. Quinn Hughes. Actually, I don't know if I put Dahlin on the Swedish team like I was supposed to. I know he's in, you know, Swedish, but I don't know if I had him. What junior team I had him on, so I won't plan on signing him or Quinn Hughes. So we will need a couple of depth defensemen, but we should be okay. All right. So out of these depth defensemen, Pedersen through Melloc. Pedersen, I mean, I want to keep Devon Taves around. Because of the idea of playing him with Kale McCarr would be very funny. That leaves just one spot, though, if we do that. And depth defenseman Pedersen and Anderson. It'd be better to trade him than to actually play him as depth defenseman. Well, we know if we're going between Taves and Mironoff that we're keeping Taves. So, Mironov is out. This we know. Actually, AHL, we have uh, Hayek and Anderson. That's right. So, that's looking a little bit better. I mean, if it's... Oh God. If it's Machine or Anderson, it's going to be the Machine... So he would be on the outs. If it's between Zadorov and Hayek, it's Zadorov who goes. That leaves Pedersen, Taves, Anderson, Melloc. Melloc is the one that it makes the most sense to keep. I hate to say it, I think it's Anderson and Pedersen that are on the outs. Anderson hasn't, uh, or, uh, yeah. Yeah, as in Josh Anderson hasn't gotten much better in the past few years. So I think we have a game plan there. You might have a hoarding problem. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Forward wise. The hell are we going to do here? You know, I, I can't even bother to try and think about what the hell we're going to do here. Uh, the Anaheim Ducks. Actually, you know what? We should exclusively trade with Eastern Conference teams. Uh, the Bruins don't have prospects they want to give up or draft picks. Buffalo, willing to give up picks. No prospects, though. Buffalo, at most, has one dude we can trade away. Which is kind of unfortunate. Um, one, two, three, four. I do want to get rid of some of these guys, too. Uh, so, Miranoff. Am I able to send you back to the Sabres? There's no way a first-round pick will work. Yeah, Buffalo can't afford that spot. Carolina can't. Columbus. Let's see. First, second, third. First and a second. What about a first and a third? I mean, I don't even think I'll be able to get the first-rounder. Yeah. What about a second and a third from the Blue Jackets for Miranoff, Davis, Grima, Ludwig, and Adam? Still no. All right, Miranoff's not worth as much as I thought. Second and a fourth? There we go. And now he feels bad for me. So Miranoff is out. Off to CBJ. Let's see, Detroit. Not willing to trade picks. No prospects available. Florida, they're not going to... Ah, they do have a high nine prospect. Tyler Sumal. Go for somebody like that. 
So, Gabriel Carlson. Value is nuts there, though, isn't it? So, Gabriel Carlson. Can I also add the machine? No. No, I cannot. So, Carlson has to be the big piece of this deal. Let's add these two guys who absolutely suck. And a second round pick from Edmonton. Carlson on his way to Florida for Tyler Sumal. See, Montreal would need a prospect that we could trade for. They don't have it. New Jersey might. No, they don't want to trade anything. Uh, the New York Islander. Yikes. Rangers. Okay, the Rangers might work for us. Blowing the team up. Not really. We just have an absolutely absurd amount of depth that we're trying to move on from. Philip Gustafsson is the one that needs to go. Jesus Christ, the last thing they need is a goalie. <laughs> and that's exactly why we're going to trade them one. Holy God, that is the last thing that they need. So Gustafsson, a second. Do we have any forward scrubs? And these guys, will that go through? Yes, it will. Gustafsson on his way. To New York. Ottawa. Any prospects in Ottawa? No. Draft picks? No. Philadelphia. Draft picks? Yes. Prospects? No. Doesn't help. Pittsburgh. 35 contracts. You'll love to see it. You actually don't. It's stupid as shit, but it's fine. Um, all right. They have prospects and picks, which is good news for us. So we have Zadorov, Machine, Pedersen, and Anderson. These are the final four. Shockingly, they don't have enough cap space. They might not have enough cap space anyway, even if I don't have Zadorov in the trade. Uh, but that trio of dudes for Brandstrom, Heino, and Picks. Where are we at, Pittsburgh? Where are we at? And then Zadorov would be the last guy to trade. There we go. So it is Dominic Machine, Marcus Pedersen, and Josh Anderson for two prospects in the Penguins' first round pick. That leaves us with one more defenseman to move out, which is unfortunately... Nikita Zadorov. We'll see if Tampa can take him. And they can. Can't do one for one for a first round pick. What about a third? Oh, he's a bit low. All right. We got a first round pick here from Tampa's for Zadorov. A third and a fourth? No. They just said they didn't want to take on the contract? Well, I give Tampa good things because I don't want to trade our good players to Western Conference teams. Let's see if we can retain 50% on Zadorov here. There we go. So, yeah, Nikita Zadorov also on the way out. We still have the forwards to decipher with six first round picks in hand. This is why this particular game always got out of hand for us. Christ. So looking here. The amount of depth forwards. Oh my god. Oh no. Tyson Jost became a first liner. Alright. Well, it's going to be Skinner, McKinnon, and Jost. As our top line, Landeskog, Rantanen, and Zuccarello as our second. Comfer will be on the third with God knows who. Klim Kostin will be in the mix as well. Uh, Yakupov dropped. We can have uh, Greer and Yak in the mix. That leaves us with two spots for fourth liners. And the minor league scoring forwards... We have 
Elias Patterson, who is pretty much NHL ready. Taylor Radish. Boris Kachuk. Troy Terry. Uh, Anton Carlson. Gustav Olhaver. I like the Carlson's an 83 and is a minor league scoring forward. That's insane. We haven't signed Karkner Arenas. Ellie Tolvanen is under contract. Sumal. Leas Anderson. Joe Valeno is still in junior. Nick Suzuki. Cliff Pooh. Morgan Geeky. And then as leftovers, we have Norris. Oh, shit. Anderson Dolan, Cole Lind, and the Klimas. So somebody needs to be in the NHL. Technically, they might be getting rushed to that level by the game's definition, but at the same time, who cares? Um, so Anton Carlson at an 83 overall. Is definitely getting the call up. And then you're talking Radish or Kachuk. If not Gust you know, fuck it, Gustav Olhaver. Why not? Give him a chance. He hasn't developed at all over the last two seasons, so we'll factor in the Klimas. So that still leaves us with probably one forward too many. Probably. That's not too bad. It gives us a, a lot of AHL depth that we don't necessarily need, but it's not the the worst thing in the world. I think we're looking pretty good. I got a couple of people to sign here and there. But for the most part, we are good. So I need third string goalies on both sides. Winnipeg, what's going on? Mike Smith. We can sign Mike Smith. Uh, and then we also have Curtis McElhaney. He's a great backup, ain't he? That we can bring in. We need two AHL level defensemen. Let's go for Fetter Tootin. And we'll go for. Let's go for Dylan Reese. Why not? And then let's see. We need a depth defenseman at the NHL level. <laughs> Jake Gardner. I'd, I'd have to edit best lines all the time. Yerky Yokipaka. Somebody who is content to be a depth defenseman, allegedly. So we'll bring in Yokipaka. And then forwards, we need a depth forward as well. The veteran, Lori Korpakoski. We'll bring in Korpakoski. Adam Henrique is still a free agent, by the way. That's fucking nuts. And this team should make the playoffs. I feel like that's uh, a fair statement at this stage, right? So let's sign Chris Bigris. Let's sign Miko Rantanen. Get those deals over with. The other side of my neck is bothering me. Go figure. And let's see what we got here. Mr. Besser. Good to see you as well. How are you? Uh, Korpakoski and Reese both had to reject. But that's that's okay. Technically AHL filler. So, not a big deal. So, if we look at the roster moves. And Sam, I'm doing well, by the way. Playing modded Minecraft. Fair. Fair enough. Let's see, defensively, can send down Kale McCarr. Was smelting villagers. Bit of a sicko on our hands. Bobrovsky, Sandstrom, Smith, Wall, Ottinger, McElhaney. Defense, Carlson, Barry, McAvoy, Bigris, Taves. Melloc and Yoki Paka up for Libor Hayek. Send down Cole Lind. Look at that freaking defense. My God. Then for the forwards. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I can never remember the count. 13 with Sumal. 
Uh, we're going to call up Gustav Olhaver. Send down Sumal and Anderson Dolan. Do we want Morgan Geeky to be... Actually, in fairness, I mean, Radish had the good potential. Terry and Pooh are both medium nines. Or it's the, it's the Klimas. Oh, my God. Send down Morgan Geeky. It's Klima time, baby. This is the way. Oh, shit. Clem Costin had to be on that team. Shit. Okay, never mind. It's not Klima time. Costin's showing up as a 74, but he's a fourth liner. That's nuts. Um, It's going to be Troy Terry. I think. It's him or Cliff Poo as the healthy scratch for the year. Let's get Cliff Poo to the NHL. I'm here for it. Cliff Poo. So if we look at the lines, what do we have for this season? Poo is a scratch by default, which is a bit surprising. Honestly, we could scratch Neil Yakupov for Cliff Poo. But yeah, we'll have Poo as a healthy scratch. Let's go with Greer, Kompfer, Yakupov, Olhaver, Carlson, Kostin. That stays the same. Yak swaps with Greer. Uh, Landeskog, Ranton, and Zook. Not that Ranton has good faceoffs in this game, but we do what we have to do. And then Skinner, Jost, McKinnon. <sighs> Woo! Man, the addition of Zuccarello through free agency and Jeff Skinner at last year's trade deadline, huh? But the defense is where it shines. Carlson and McAvoy, Bigris and Barry, Taves and Melloc. Goodness. What a signing Eric Carlson was, huh? Seven years, eight and a half million at 29 years old. And of course, the goaltender, Sergei Bobrovsky. He's back on the case. Felix Sandstrom behind him. It might be a top heavy team, but man, we should make the playoffs. We should. This AHL team <laughs> is disgusting. Let's start with the goalies Joseph Wall and Jake Ottinger, which LOL. Defensively, Hayek Anderson. Fetter Tootin is going to be out for Eric Brandstrom. Which will leave Sharoff as the odd man out, unfortunately, but it is what it is. I mean, it's him or Brandstrom that gets left out, honestly. Maybe it should be Eric Brandstrom. Oh, we need Kale McCarr in the best spot possible. Three sets of OFD, DFD. Not bad. And then for the forwards, Ranford can come out for either Anderson, Dolan, Josh Norris, I mean Nick Suzuki, clearly. Clearly. The Klimas are playing. I don't give a shit. We technically have two better players, but the Klimas are playing. No doubt. Screw the other low sixes. Except, I mean, Anderson Dolan's a better overall. So do we have a low six who's under a 72? No, we do not. So show me the lowest potentials. Low six, medium nine. Terry's technically a medium nine. We'll put Anderson Dolan on that lower line. Bump up Sumal. We got the low elites. Medium elites. We'll go with the medium top six. The three high nines. Sumal can be down. Okay, I think we're good. So in terms of centers, it'll be the Klimas on the wing with Anderson Dolan in the middle. We'll have Sumal, Geeky, Terry. 
Tolvin and Kachuk Radish. And then Anderson, Suzuki, and Pedersen. The San Antonio Rampage should win the Calder Cup. And this NHL team should make the playoffs. God help us if we don't with how much freaking money we just spent and all the moves that we made. 92, 94, 89. This needs to be a big year for us.